Well, Premium Products Podcast. It is just me, Colin. Uh, Moy and Josh could not be here today. Uh, this is actually the second time I'm recording this. Uh, they had shit to do. They will be here for the Patreon. So, that out of the way, uh, this uh, episode's gonna just be a lot of, uh, so, uh, but we got the soundboard back. Soundboard is back. Um... Yeah, I guess housekeeping shit. Uh, Patreon.com slash premium products. Or Patreon.com slash the PPP. Got a lot of stuff going on over there. Do a bonus episode every week for $1. That's the one Moy and Josh are going to be on. Don't like listening to just me? Hey. Get pay a dollar, you can hear the other two people that are supposed to be here. But uh hey. Fuck it. Um Twitter at the underscore PPP. <coughs> um Yeah, I'm sorry, I just saw some crazy shit on Twitter. Uh, yeah, the underscore PPP underscore, uh, we need to tweet a little more over there, but got a bunch of shit going on. Uh, Reddit r slash PPP, take that shit over. It's not ours. We need to get mods out there. Message that, like, Turkish dude that runs that shit. Say, hey, make me a mod. And then make all of us mods. I think my username is 9xmillion. Hook it up. And then it's phase one on them, man. Take over that Reddit. Uh, also, our Instagram is at the, or at Premium Products Podcast. Post there weekly. Join up, man. Get linked in. Uh, Discord is available if you uh, sign up for the Patreon. You get free Discord access. I'm building it out. Uh, the YouTube is coming. There's some been some technical difficulties. And I just haven't been able to sit around and edit shit. Been my birthday a couple weeks ago, and been trying to buy a car. Pretty sure we got one. Got it confirmed through Carvana. So we're going to see what's up with Carvana. Uh, Other than that, I guess I'll do the solo fit check. I am wearing Adidas EQT. Uh, (coughs) Fuck, sorry. Adidas EQT, I think Advanced is the model. Let me look it up just to be sure. Without walking back and grabbing the box. EQT ADV. Yes. Believe this is the model. No, I'm sorry, the EQT Support ADV sneaker. It is the white and orange uh, pair. Kind of like a, uh, I mean, it's based off like a Adidas EQT line uh, shoe from like 96 maybe. Uh, Here, let me just see what Sneaker Freaker says about it back in the day. 
Uh, EQT advanced support. Uh, just the retro aesthetic. Come on, let me get an article that is good. Hi Beast. Hi Beast will know what's up. Uh nope, just some more bullshit. Well, anyway, it's based off like a retro model, I think from uh nineteen ninety six, based off the retro EQT running support model. So there you go. I think came out in ninety six. I believe they retroed that shoe as well. Uh, these came out like 2016 is what it's saying. 2017 around then. Kind of around the like Yeezy hype and when Boost was starting to die down. But you had NMD. Dita's really catching that like boost of Kanye. No pun intended. Uh, yeah. Clean shoe. And I'm following it up. Italian as hell. Adidas tracksuit, black. Adidas originals, white tee, looking uh, full wop. But yeah, that's the uh, fucking Dolo fit check. I'm sure whenever uh, Moy and Josh pull up, they will do whatever they are wearing. So that out of the way let's get in to drops and uh real quick sorry for this dead air but we're gonna we gonna get a little little wheezy on Uh, so drops. <clears throat> Somewhat of a slow week, but some cool shit still out there. Uh, first up, we have the Nike Clear Jade Pack, kind of a uh, double release. You have a Nike Dunk Low Clear Jade. And a Nike Air Max 1 Clear Jade. Um, it's basically just the white, gray, Air Max 1 classic colorway. But instead of red or blue, it's this like almost sea green. Uh, to me, jade is like a really like bright green. This isn't that. It's more of like a sea green to me. But... I guess that's what Nike's doing. Um, the Air Maxes out of the two are the better pick to me. Um, the Dunks are just... I'm so sick of fucking Dunks, man. So sick of them. Like, unless it's like doing something new. Or like an SB. But I am sick of just the white and then whatever color. It was cool when they did the college pack initially. I really wanted the St. John's uh, Dunk Lows. Um, I'll look up what the resale price of those are right now. Um, yeah, because I mean, I, I tried to get a St. John's. I got in, but scholarship is a motherfucker. Uh, to go out there and you can't really just come back and forth around a lot. That's kind of a, you move to New York permanently, which my parents didn't really want me doing at the time. And I don't blame them. So Nike dunk low saint 
John's, or the University Red, as it's called. Uh, three fifty-seven for my size. I would get a retro pair if I was to get them. Even though I'm sure the retro pair would just fall apart. But, hey. Or if they had a Nike Co. Japan, but I don't think they do. But, yeah. But, uh, that's the only dunk low I would get. These, uh, are kind of dog shit. Clear jade. Next up, we got the Salehi Crocs Polynex. Oh, I'm sorry. The Clear Jade Pack drops with, on July 20th, with the dunk being 110. And the Air Max being 150. Or I'm sorry, I guess the Air Max comes out the 21st. So you got the dunk on the 20th. The Air Max on the 21st. Keeping it in dunk territory. Skipping that, I pro I, think, I believe I also said what the next shoe was, but we'll come back to it. Uh, women's Nike Dunk Low Rose Whisper. Just because I already talked about it. Tired of dunks, but I think it is a good women's shoe. Give them the colorways and shit. Fuck. This is just a white and very light, almost a beige, uh, kind of rose pink. Fine. Very basic shoe. I think it works as a women's shoe. The C, uh, clear jade or whatever could have been a women's shoe, but I guess it has men's sizes. Not for me. Not for me. Uh, also keeping it. On Nike, Nike Air Max 1, uh, Chili 2.0, very basic Nike Air Max 1, I don't know what makes it the 2.0, um, for those looking to update their summer rotation, Nike is about to drop a spicy Air Max 1, the Chili 2.0 colorway for the summer, the 2.0 Chilio iteration arrives 20 years after the OG color blocking, which boasted a white varsity red, medium gray color scheme. The, ah, this Tinker Hatfield offering features a mixed textile construction, goddamn, made from mesh, suede, numbrook. Yeah, and Noombrook materials. Fuck. I can't even read by myself. Unlike its predecessor. <laughs> Unlike its predecessor, this Air Max 1 boasts a, light gr a lighter gray on the overlays and reverse tongue label. Rounding out the final details are the red swoosh and matching air unit, as well as the Nike Air branded heels. And the two-tone black and white rubber outsoles. Hey, guys. I, this might not be that good just listening to me. But at least you can just mock my fucking retarded ass. Not able to just read the fucking words two fucking feet in front of me. Uh, where is the Lil Wayne noise. Oh, I think we need intro music, too. If you're a uh, young producer out there and you want to make some shit, send it in. Personally, if you could make something that sounds kind of like the Space Ghost uh, theme song, send that in. That'd be fucking fire. But uh, send shit in. I'll listen to anything. Anyway, Chili 2.0 comes out July 20th for 150. Uh, those dunks also come out on the 20th for 110. Uh, any other Nike 
bullshit. We'll do it by brand. Uh, the Nike Air Max One Golf Play to Live. Um, I'm surprised this isn't a women's colorway. It looks very uh, feminine. It's got a bunch of like paisley print. It's kind of like a gray, like wolf gray or varsity gray uh, Air Max upper. But then on uh, like the toe box, it just is like a paisley print. And then it has a uh, purple and yellow outsole. Um, Nike continues to expand its Air Max 1 Golf lineage with this upcoming uh, Play to Live colorway. Uh, so It's a Nike Golf also, so it's very hard plastic on that bottom, like cleats basically. Not like a wearable shoe unless you're playing golf. Set to release at the end of the month, the Nike Air Max 1 Golf Play to Live features a 60s vibe. In terms of prints and colors, that is believed to be paying homage to the Open Championship, which is being held in Liverpool, England, the birthplace of the Beatles. I'll smoke through that. Uh, the, <coughs> the pair is anchored in white mesh, light gray overlays, allowing the bold prints on the mud <coughs> <coughs> on the mud guard and color semi translucent uh, translucent outsoles to shine. The pair is further elevated with goddamn stop popping up with white swooshes embellishing with play to live verbiage and live to play spotted on the heel. Lastly, the pair is rounded out or is rounded off with graphic out insoles and again play to live motif arriving on the outsole. In terms of specs, this pair features a blend of sports style and golf specific functionality, as well as extra cushioning for comfort during long rounds on the golf course. Uh, this is coming out on sneakers on the 20th for 170. It's okay. Um, I wouldn't really <laughs> wear it if I was playing golf even. Um, but I guess if you like the Beatles, it does kind of have like a yellow submarine kind of vibe, I guess, reading that. But, I don't know. It'd be cool if there's more yellow in it. Uh, I am the walrus ass shoes, I guess. Um, fuck. Doing a podcast by yourself sucks ass. But at least you can listen to my mushed mouth dumbass try to read this shit out. Um, keeping it on Nike, we have a Nike Air Max One, uh, OG High University Blue. Um, I mean, it's a fucking Chicago Air Force One or Air Force Air Jordan One, and uh, you swap the red for OG or University Blue. Oh shit! Excuse me. Uh. Yeah, I mean, it looks like bootlegged fragment ones, I guess. I don't know. Budget fragment ones. Not really a university blue fan. Uh, fuck UNC. Just straight up. No, No reason either. Like, have no affiliation with really any. My uncle went to Notre Dame. I've seen Notre Dame play UNC a couple times. But really, they mean nothing to me, but just fuck UNC. For no reason. Uh, those come out the 22nd for... Uh, shit. 180. 
Next up, we got Nike Terminator High Game Royal. Uh, out of all the Nikes we've talked about, this is the only one I would put, like even think about copying. Uh, this is, to me, like a good silhouette. I like all these Nike retro basketball shoes they're coming out with. Uh, it's a very obvious, like, com- like trying to compete with the fucking uh, New Balance 550. Like, they lost massive market to them. Really took over the trend of fucking beat up Air Force Ones to uh, fucking New Balance 550s. These will probably go the way of the airship where they're going to bring back a bunch of kind of just classic colorways of the Terminator. Nothing. They're not really going to sell. And then you'll be able to get them off like resale websites for way under retail. Like I think the airships came out at like 130, 140 ish. Um, I was looking at the like white and gray pair the other day on StockX an 11 and they were like $87. So, I mean, these are clean, but I wouldn't, I'm, I wouldn't rush out to get any of these. Like, I feel like they're not going to sell well. I feel like they brought them back around 2014 and they also didn't really sell well around then. And they just kind of hang around, but I fuck with the silhouette. You don't see it that much. Um, Last year, Nike's Terminator High from 1985 made its triumphant return. Now, the high top silhouette is set to drop in its classic Game Royal outfit for the summer. The Nike High or Terminator High Game Royal is constructed from white leather base, while the titular hue finds its way onto a smooth leather overlay, as well as the leather swoosh. Heel outsole, the court sneaker is rounded off with white laces and a matching white midsole. You can get it on the sneakers app July 22nd for $125. Yeah, clean shoe. Wouldn't really get this colorway. I'd probably fuck with a green colorway. Um, I'm sure that will come out. But pretty far shoe. Um, uh, we do have a couple more Nikes. Uh, I'm going to th- throw it over to a shoe you can get right now. Uh, the Nike Air Alpha Force 88. Uh, it's out right now. I'm looking at it on Bodega. Uh, sold out of every size, buddy, seven and a half. So, I mean, it's popping. Um, the revival of a legendary Air Alpha Force silhouette is complete. Originally worn by basketball legend Michael Jordan in his epic 1988 match against the New York Knicks, this classic shoe is making its triumphant return in its original form, drawing the Chicago Bulls colorway featuring the iconic foot strap and a blend of leather and synthetic materials. Not a really good uh, selling point right there, but it's flown under the radar too long. Uh, Yeah, these are, I fuck with these. These are kind of clean. These are the ones that I saw a direct comparison saying like, oh, they're trying to steal shit away from the 550 and they were showing matchups of Different colorways of these with the 550. It's a late 80s basketball shoe. Both of them. So, I mean, they're going to have similarities. They didn't really have technology back then like that. Or like they do now. They weren't doing like crazy designs yet like they were in the 90s. They were just kind of blocky. I mean, it was a step up from fucking Converse uh, All-Stars. So, I mean, hey. Uh, These look pretty cool. 140, you can get them right now. I'm sure on other websites and stuff. Would also probably do like a white and green colorway on these. 
But I'll fuck with these. These are pretty clean. Um, rounding it off on Nike. Uh, God damn. Oh, okay. Hold on. We have one more uh, dunk coming out on the 25th. Dunk low athletic department. Kind of another UNC colorway. It's university blue. Uh, and then gray. You have like a dark gray and then a light gray. Um, just a dunk. 110. July 25th. Now to wrap it up on uh, Nike. Also on the 25th. Martine Rose. Nike Shock Mule 24. In a scuba blue. And safety orange. And I think there's other colorways. But those are the only ones listed right here. I mean god damn man. I I fuck with the shocks. I'm kind of like a shocks apologist. But. I mean shit dude. Like these are god awful. Like I like the colorways. But like not on this shoe. Like it, it looks like a high heel. Uh, it's very fucked up looking. It's just not great. It's a mule too, but it has laces. Like it just doesn't really make any sense. If it was like just a women's shoe, I would understand. But I think it's supposed to be like a wide release. Uh, Martine Rose, like they also did that uh, fucking Nike Air Monarch where they like warped it a bit. They might have done another shoe with Nike. I know they've done some merch. Um So there is like a black and red, I think coming out and a white and then a white and gray. Um, yeah, it's looking like just the, the monarch. <clears throat> but, hey, do you, I guess, if you can pull it off. I'm sure it's like a good women's shoe, but you a dude. Hey, man. You do you. Well, that'll wrap it up for Nike. Oh, those come out and they're... If you're like some type of clown that wants them, they're $200. Uh, on the 25th on Martine Rose's website and then 27th from Sneakers. Uh, getting away from Nike, Salehi Crocs Polynex in a Tashmu. Um, it's like a very blue colorway. <laughs> kind of like a, uh, like muted ultramarine a little bit. I'm not really sure how much the Crocs Polynex slide goes for. <clears throat> I would assume it's not a hundred dollars, but. Let's price check this. Salehi Bimbury. My favorite Salehi shoe is the Antas. His Antas are fucking clean. Almost impossible to get now, though. At least in my size. Uh, originally released for 70 bucks retail, so yeah, 70 bucks retail, I would assume is the price on these. Uh, I mean, I don't I like the blue on them. I guess if you like the croc slide, grab them. But as stated multiple times on this platform, 
It's uh, Merrill Hydro Mox all day. Fuck a croc. Uh, next up a shoe I am excited as fuck for the Adidas Crazy Infinity. So, uh, the chalk colorway is set to release. I don't know if this is the one I'm wanting. I believe this is the white colorway. I want the kind of tan, but I may try and pick these up. Um, Adidas basketball has redefined a classic on the way to highly anticipated Adidas crazy infinity releasing soon. So yeah, I would say this is probably one of the most anticipated like basketball shoes this year for sure. One one of the very few ba- like modern basketball shoes coming out that like I feel you could just like wear like as like a clean sneaker. Like uh it's the kind of based on the Adidas Kobe one. Like it's been redesigned a bit. Kind of like sleeker. And then it has like a sleeve on the top. This is like a white and black colorway. It kind of looks like some type of fear of God shoe a bit. And it's rumored that Jerry kind of had some. Jerry Lorenzo had some uh, influence in the design room. Whenever they were making all the new Adidas basketball stuff. But uh, these are fucking icy. Uh, set to drop. Uh, I guess they dropped today, but I don't know. Let me look at... I believe Packers will have them, if anything. I've seen Victor Khan uh, posting about them a bunch. They got the Alpha Force. What sizes do they have? They have seven through nine. Popular shoe, man. I'm not seeing the crazy infinity. Huh. Okay, the infinity draw in chalk is dropping exclusively at Packers. So, Adidas Basketball is advancing its category this season with a brand new contemporary style meets style meets hoop silhouette. It's a fucking shady description. The Adidas Crazy Infinity Three Stripes. This is like half an article. What the fuck? Okay, it's dropping Wednesday, July 19th at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So, we're in Texas, 10 a.m. At Packers.com for 160 bucks. Yeah, these are fire. Cannot wait to get a pair. Adidas doing some cool shit, man. Uh, super excited to see what the Fear God collection really looks like when they drop that. Supposedly in October. Um, but yeah, I can't wait for more colorways of this to come out. This looks like it's going to be a good shoe. Should be seeing it a lot. And that might be it for drops. 
Uh, oh no, we have a shoe that when I saw, I didn't know this was coming back out, and when I saw it on here, I was like, oh, holy shit. But the Reebok Pump TZ Solar Yellow. Um, I would get a pair of these if I didn't already have a pair. Um, I got a pair back when they first retroed them back in like 2014 or 2013. Um, I got them off, uh, not eBay, but like a, or actually I think it might've been eBay, but there was also like a, uh, kicks exchange, maybe website where you could like sell, sell kicks and shit with super unregulated. I might tell it on the Patreon or something, but I have a very funny story of, uh, some guy that got or tried to like finesse me on some uh cool gray 11s but uh good story go to patreon if you want to hear that but uh yeah so here we are the reebok pump tz i forget whose shoe it was it's not mentioned in here but i can't it escapes me but he played for atlanta can't think of it Reebok continues to expand the basketball sneaker options along this upcoming question mid tobacco and blast Alamo Reebok will be dropping a pump TZ accented with solar yellow yeah solar yellow hints god damn take a drink break hold on All right, we're back. <clears throat> Sorry for the dead air. Um, yeah. TZ Solar Yellow. Um, if this had come out like two years ago, it would have been way more like fire. Uh, they kind of missed their mark. It kind of looks like those, uh, or even like four years ago because it kind of hits a little bit like that uh whatever the virgil uh louis vuitton sneaker is based off of i believe it's that anta I don't know. I can't remember what it is. It's not really that important. I do want to know what the Virgil, the Virgil Trainer 508. Yeah, these are clean. Oh. I'm trying to see if I can find what the basis is. The best look yet. At Virgil's Louis Vuitton sneaker. Crazy. Crazy how time flies. Um, but yeah. The TZ Solar Yellow. I fuck with this shoe. I still have them in my uh, closet right now. Don't have the box though. Got into a situation... Back when I still lived in Sherman, at uh, my first crib, fucking busted a window, 
had trying to get into my room. Fucking replaced the window with the box. Very uh, trashy. But uh, tough times. You got to do what you can. And then fucking dipped. Moved out. Shit happens. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Solar yellow. This podcast really goes fucking off hill. Just me. I'm sorry, y'all. Peach will be better. But yeah, that is all of drops. See, it fucks me up. I've changed the settings around because we had to reset the fucking keyboard. Don't know where all my drops are. Okay. So, now, what all is there? Got, uh, got to 41 minutes just doing all that. So, hey, some podcasts out here just solo can only give you a good 30 minutes. I gave you a bad, uh, 41 and we'll make it a bad hour. We'll keep going. Um, not much that I've been copping lately other than, I guess I have been copping a lot. I just bought a whip. Uh, might have to do some more shit on that, but hopefully it will be a, uh, Owner of a Buick Regal Tour X very soon. And maybe rebadge it back to, uh, or convert it back to its Opal Insignia uh, true form. But that's uh, talk for another day. I also might just be fucked because I bought a car from Carvana that I will not get to test drive until I've already paid a non-refundable deposit and will then be owning the vehicle. So, might just be uh, driving off a cliff. You might hear a lot of (laughs) coming from that uh, very soon. But, uh, yeah, I got a, uh, article here about eBay is starting some type of top SAR membership. It's completely free. It requires certain levels of engagement on eBay sneakers to renew to the next cycle. But with all that eBay offers engaging with the program and Retaining top star membership won't be much challenge. Um, with a wide range of retail drops and other perks, eBay's top star program is a dream for eBay loyalists and a new opportunity for sneakerheads who are looking to find new avenues to expand their collection in a referring manner making the top star program unique to secondary platforms with options to reward you for your sneaker passion and why you would buy anywhere else. Yes, but what the fuck is it? Uh, Oh, that's it. That's all the fucking article. It's invite only. Um... Top Star also gets invitations to special events such as complex con parties with Zach Bia, Jeremiah, Chase B, DJ5, as well as access to Skate Em Out, eBay's installation to shop coveted Nike SB dunks in honor of Sandy Bodecker.
Okay. So I don't know how you just get invited to it, I guess. By buying sneakers on eBay. Um, eBay is my go-to low-key when I'm looking for sneakers. Uh, I fuck with it way more than StockX. And I feel like as long as you know what you're looking at and you do look into the seller, how like how much do they sell can be kind of a red flag and can't be if they're like not selling that much, it doesn't throw me off necessarily. If they're selling like a ton of the same thing, could be a thing where they're maybe getting some fakes, who knows? Could be selling a bunch of shoes, but just got batches. Some type of reselling dickhead. Who knows? But, uh... Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know what this Top Star program would be. I'm sorry I pulled this article thinking it was going to be something cool. And it is... Like some fucking bullshit, so... Let's see what Hype Beast has popping off. Oh, I guess another drop at the end of this week. Uh, Bodega is dropping some Oakley sunglasses. I can pull that up. Oh, also, I guess other uh, cops I have other than getting a car. Uh, got a pair, my first pair of Sakani's. Or Saucony. believe named after the Saucony River out in like Portland or wherever the fuck they're from. I uh, got the Packers. Pull it up. Uh, Saucony Jazz 81 for Packers in a coriander gray flannel uh my first saucony got like the classic model i was torn between them and uh bodega did a saucony 3d grid hurricane these are fire uh was trying to go for the fucking dimes but <clears throat> sold out in two minutes on the fucking website. Got on at 12, had them in cart, checking out. Did not get them. Sitting there in that waiting line system. That's fucking, I've never gone anything doing that shit. I take that back on Yeezy Day originally. I got the fucking uh, Calabasas, but like like a black pair, not the, I was trying to get the gray. Sold out, got the black pair. It's whatever, don't really wear them. Uh, anyway, back to the Sauconies. These are clean, the Bodega pair like a white and green, but then they have this like weird mesh on the upper that kind of looks like carbon fiber. And then you got like a translucent kind of liquid metal looking, uh, per purple, like logo of what I believe is supposed to be the like bend in the river or whatever, but, uh, kind of looks like a bird also. Don't know much about the Saucony logo, but pretty clean but uh yes coming out this week you have the bodega oakley bxtr metal uh i just bought a pair of oakley's i got the oakley frog skin uh fragments but i might buy another pair and get these with the bodega x oakley bxtr metal we are using our first collab with the Big O to provide the key to a new world. 
one that has been hidden in plain sight all along. Led by Oakley's Prism Lens technology, which hones in on a specific color spectrum to focus your field of vision through our glasses translates to more confidence when juking squirrels in the park and evading pigeon droppings on the street or dodging those silly sidewalk scooters. After all, it's no accident that the moment you put these on, you start taking two steps at a time on on the stairs, ducking the trash cans, or ducking trash and dunking trash and trash cans, and racing through the city like you represent the Team USA at the relay. With the design that screams forward motion, it continues to lean. It continu- its continuous lean puts you in certain frames with bodega and oakley etching performance surfaces as watermarks of approval. I don't know. A lot of horse shit to just tell you, hey, we did science to make these Oakleys. They do have this weird kind of like, uh, I'm trying to see what the like description of the piece is, but this weird kind of bolt or like loop piece in the middle. Or uh, I don't know what the little side panels are on... Uh, Fucking uh, sunglasses, but pretty cool. Kind of like those old uh, baseball glasses and shit. Pretty fire. I fucks with Bodega. Nothing they've done really misses for me. Even the dunk. They're, uh, I was very looking forward to their Nike SP. <coughs> I will say it's not my favorite. I wish they came a little like different with it, but it's cool. I would get the friends and family. It's uh, not reselling for crazy. Let's see. Bodega. That's crazy. The Bodega nine nineties are only going for two sixty. Do they got a pair of Hypercats? Nope. Oh, they got a ten and a half for two thousand dollars. That's cool. If you got a uh, New Balance 577 Bodega Hypercat colorway, hit my DMs because I will cash you out as long as you're reasonable. Not uh, saying $2,000. But that is one of my favorite shoes. But yeah, the Nike Dunk High Bodega Legend Fauna Brown. I believe it's made to look like a baseball glove. I mean, it's pretty obvious of that, but I remember reading the behind the scenes story on it. It's pretty interesting. You can get the friends and family for two ninety eight in my size, which isn't bad at all. I would cop. Trying to see how many. It might have been released in this colorway. I don't know. But. It's just the white. Kind of like the inverse of the. uh, First colorway. Pretty clean I guess. Oh shit. Well. Gave you uh, 54 minutes. Some people would cut it there. We're not going to do that. 
We're just gonna chill. Uh, oh yeah, I can... You can just play us out. Get Ian Curtis to sing about Passover, just on the way out. There we go. It's gonna be a bitch to edit on YouTube, but... Get some radio shit going. PPP Radio. Here you go.
All right, PPP Radio. Might have to set it up. But shit. Hopefully, won't uh, have that many more of these. Kind of last minute. Usually, I'd get somebody else, but I was like, fuck it. Uh, I feel like I can cover an hour. Just this once. Uh, fuck. Alright. Deuce.